Look at all this deliciousness, you guys. I am planning on combining Torchlight and Build Your Library Level 1 for history and literature this year. Stay tuned if you want to hear all about how. Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor lawyer turned homeschooling mom of three kids ages 8, 5, and 3. They are all fall babies, so they will be turning nine, six, and four in the fall. And for my elder two kids, for literature and history, I will be combining Torchlight and Build Your Libraries Level 1 for next year. Our history focus will be on the ancient world, and I'm super excited to have all the books, as you can see behind me. This top shelf right here are all the books I have so far for Torchlight and Build Your Library. Some of them are floating upstairs because they are parts of other curricula as well but they are all labeled, as you can see, with these little little book labels that I got from Amazon. And I'll link those down in the description box below, too, in case you're interested. I really love them. They're just the right size, and the one pack comes with, I think, over 2,500 of them. We have all the books. Are you super excited? I'm super excited. I'm super excited to have all the books. Um, the books are an excellent, excellent array of different types of literature. One of the differences, I would say, between the Torchlight curriculum and the Build Your Library curriculum is that the Build Your Library curriculum has a few more heavier reads. There's more chapter books in there. There's um, less picture books. And the Torchlight curriculum has a lot more picture books included. Both book lists are available online on the Build Your Library site and the Torchlight site. So if you are an eclectic homeschooler in the sense that you don't need a plan and you really just want the book list, those are both available for you. So as you can see, there's way too many books up here to flip through them in any particular order. I will say that the Build Your Library list has some more classics in it than the Torchlight curriculum. The Torchlight curriculum has a lot more picture books than the Build Your Library curriculum. I like mixing the two concepts. I like the traditional approach of Build Your Library. It does include new books as well, but definitely less picture books than Torchlight. And Torchlight, I like the fact that they include um, a lot more picture books because I have a younger child as well and I think she'll be a little bit more engaged with that if we have more picture books included. There are great books in both curricula. They both definitely follow a Charlotte Mason type of approach with a lot of living literature, um, very little sort of textbooky approach, much more about reading fictional stories as well as nonfiction about a period of time so that the kids can sort of see the pictures, hear the stories, relate to the characters, really um, become enmeshed and immersed in that period of history. So some of the ones that I'm really excited about reading from the Torchlight curriculum include this one, the Ramayana, um, the Divine Loophole, and this one has gorgeous illustrations, you guys. So I'll just come up a little bit closer and show you. Aren't these beautiful? Um, and so this is just a book that I'm happy to have. I've, I actually haven't read the Ramayana in years and years and years, and I've never read the entire thing. I've just read children's versions in India. So I'm excited to read another version like this. Um, one of the ones that I'm really interested in reading from Build Your Library's curriculum is The Last of the Really Great Wang Doodles. This is a book that I've always been meaning to read that I just never got around to. I think that's one of the best parts of homeschooling is that we can, um, read all the books that we wanted to read as kids that we never had a chance to to our children. One of the spines for Build Your Libraries uh, level one is the Osborne Encyclopedia of World History. It also builds off a story of the world and I really like the story format of Story of the World. The history spine for Torchlight is Curiosity Chronicles, and Curiosity Chronicles is a basically new a secular history curriculum, and it's designed in such a way that it's a conversation between two characters, as you can see on the cover here. I personally um, dislike books that are a conversation mode like this because I don't like reading them aloud. I like reading them to myself. So we're actually gonna use both spines, and I think what I'm going to do is use the audio recording of Curiosity Chronicles for the car or for my son and use the story of the world as our read aloud. So that's my plan for that. Another beautiful book from the Build Your Library curricula is The Boy Who Drew Birds and that is the story of Audubon. So really nice um, biographies for kids here. There's also Nim's Island. One of, One of the changes to Build Your Library's curricula recently was this book, The Book of Nature Poetry. 
and you can see gorgeous photographs in combination with the poetry for this. So I'm really looking forward to using that as part of our curricula for this year. This is one of the writing books that she uses, Don't Forget to Write for ages 5 to 12. I actually bought this book before I ever decided to buy this curricula and it's a really excellent read just in terms of how to teach writing and how to um, keep kids creativity flowing without sort of stamping it out with just grammar and things like that. Baby is one of the books included in this level for Build Your Library. This is one of my favorite books from childhood. I remember reading this book and just crying and crying. Um, so I hope my kids like it as much as I do, but I was happy that I was going to get a chance to read it again. Arisha and the End of Time is one of the books that I'm looking forward to reading from Torchlight's curriculum. This one is about a little Indian girl, so, you know, obviously I would relate. Torchlight also uses the McElderry book of Greek myths, so that's another read that I have not read. And obviously, well not obviously, but if you know my videos, you know that I love mythology, so <laughs> obviously I'm super excited about reading a new mythology book. The Book of Goddesses is another book that Torchlight uses. I actually just printed out like a, a small version because you can buy the PDF of this book from Torchlight for $5. Um, it actually has beautiful illustrations though, so I think I might actually want to get the actual book. Torchlight's curricula also uses a lot of these blast back books. So this one's Ancient Greece. I think they also have one for um, the Great Wall of China and things like that. So at this point, I'm sure you're wondering, you know, Tanya, that's great. You have all the books, but how in the world are you planning on getting through all of this? I am not planning on getting through all of these books in the 36 weeks allotted by either curricula. My plan is to probably spread it out over 52 to 60 weeks. So we might even extend a little bit into next year. Um, I want to focus on the ancients for as long as we're interested. And I like the idea of incorporating a lot of different projects and things, especially from layers of learning, which I'll be showing you later. So we will take our time about this and meander through history as we go. The way I've woven them together is by going through all of Torchlight's weekly topics and all of Build Your Library's weekly topics and seeing how I could best weave them together in a chronological fashion. For example, if Torchlight's curricula talks about Cleopatra, in their week 20, but Build Your Library talks about Cleopatra in week 16, I merge them together, I kind of push them to be closer together in wherever my week about Cleopatra would be. So as I march through, the, through my historical focus topics, when we talk about Cleopatra, we'll do the week from Build Your Library, and then maybe the next week or within that same week we'll do Torchlight. I will say that Torchlight's approach is very gentle and a little bit more gentle in terms of amount of time spent each day than our family is used to. So I'm not too worried about blending it with Build Your Library because we read a lot here and I like the idea of incorporating school into nightly reading time, into our read alouds. We are going to start reading aloud during our lunchtime as well next year, which is something I know that Emily, who created Build Your Library, says that she sometimes does, because I think that's a good time that I can read to all of them. I have a nice little captive audience, and it'll be one less time when we have screen time, so that'll be a nice little change in our homeschool next year. If you want to know more about how I plan to combine the two, just let me know. I will be combining the two for literature as well, in addition to Hewitt Homeschooling's Lightning Literature. I'll be doing a video review of Lightning Literature and when I do that I'll show you how I've combined them with Build Your Library and Torchlight. Being an eclectic homeschooler isn't the easiest way to go you guys, but it does give me a lot of joy in the planning and it also frees me up to really cater to the needs of my kids and to my own needs. Um, I don't like rushing through history. I don't like rushing through a curricula and this gives me a lot more freedom, believe it or not. I hope this was helpful to you guys. I will put all the relevant links down below to Torchlight and to Build Your Library. Tor I will be doing a dedicated review of Torchlight and a dedicated review of Build Your Library uh, in the coming few weeks, so keep an eye out for those as well. I'm super excited. I love the book choices from both curricula. I think they both have different things to offer, um, but I do think they're both beautiful. And there is a Facebook group for those of you who, like me, are planning on combining the two. So there are other crazies out there just like me. 
I hope this has been helpful to you guys and I look forward to bringing you the other videos. Have a good day and thank you so much as always for giving me your time.